स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट ईवीएस वन जोग्राफी लेसन नंबर नाइन मैप्स आर कंपेनियंस सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द लेसन द लैंड इन आर एनवायरमेंट इज नॉट ऑफ द सेम हाइट एवरीवेयर दिस अन इवेंटनेस गिव राइज टू वेरियस लैंड शेप्स क्रिएटिंग डिफरेंट लैंड फॉर्म्स सच एज माउंटेन्स वैलीज प्लेटोज प्लेन्स एंड आईलैंड यू हैव स्टडी दिस इन द थर्ड चैप्टर फॉर अ प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ आर एनवायरमेंट इट इज नेसेसरी to study the physical or the natural setup of the land man has felt the need for making and using maps since ancient times at that time maps were mainly used in wars in working out strategies of defeating the enemy taking into account the difference in their heights slopes shapes etc various landforms can be shown on a map there are different methods of showing the landforms on a map different methods of showing the landforms on a map the length and the width of the landforms can be easily shown on a map however the height and the depth cannot be shown easily the elevation means height and the depth of the landforms are shown on a map by the contour line method layer tinting method and digital elevation model so student first we will study about contour line method this method is used to show the unevenness of the landforms on a map in this method the height of the land is measured from sea level points of the same height are identified their position is marked accurately on a map these locations are joined with a line lines joining the location of the same height on a map are called contour lines when the distance between the contour lines is less the slope of the land is steep whereas when the distance between the contour lines is great the slope of the land is gentle students in the map a the height of the land is been shown by contour lines students layer tinting method this method is based on the contour line method in this method the spaces between the contour lines are filled with different colors each color indicates a specific height of the land for example water bodies are colored blue whereas the adjoining land is colored dark green the land higher than that is colored light green the next higher land is colored yellow and so on in this method a color index is given along with a map by studying a color index the differences in the colors between the contour lines representing the differences in the physical setup of the land can be 
identified. Students, see here it is map B. In this map, colors have been used in this map for showing difference in the heights of the landforms. Next one is digital elevation model. This is the mo most modern method. In this method, the information obtained from the man-made satellite is used to draw the maps. The differences in the heights of the landforms can be seen most clearly in the maps that are drawn by using this method. Using computers, we can even find the height of each point on a digital map. This helps us to understand the physical setup of a region. Students, we can directly observe the differences in the heights of the landforms only in the sea map. Thank you.